So you may know I finally got a new miter saw and today I'm going to start building the saw into this cabinet. I'll get started by first building a three foot wide cabinet to the left of the saw and then a two foot wide cabinet to the right of the saw. This project is sponsored by Garnica Plywood. Garnica makes a really nice quality plywood. It has a very uniform poplar core and it's, it's really just a pleasure to work with. If you want to learn more about Garnica Plywood and see a short video of how the plywood is produced, I'll have a link on the screen and a link in the description. I'm ripping the sheet at 44 inches and using the offcut for the face frame. Full sheets of Garnica plywood measure 48 and a half inches by 96 and a half inches. I'll get started on these cabinets by first building the face frames. I just finished cutting the styles and rails to size out of three quarter inch birch plywood. And I'll build the face frames using pocket hole screws. I just finished ripping the sides of the cabinet to width and now I'm going to cut them to length. I've got two sacrificial boards on the table. This is just MDF. This will keep me from cutting into the table with the circular saw. And I'll lay the plywood on the sacrificial boards, measure over, and make a mark. And then square across. I'll clamp the one end of the plywood down so it doesn't move and I just made this crosscut jig for this project. I'll hold the jig and then bring the saw over so the blade lines up with the line then move in the jig and make the cut. Now I'm going to remove this bit of material from each of the sides of the cabinet. This is called a rabbit joint and it's there to accept the back of the cabinet. There's a few ways to remove this material, but what I'm going to do is just run the sides over the table saw, making one pass, removing an eighth of an inch. I'll move the fence over an eighth of an inch, make a second pass, and that will remove the quarter of an inch rabbit that I'll need for the back of the cabinet. I'm attaching the sides of the cabinet with wood glue and pocket hole screws and you want to make sure when you're drilling your pocket hole screws that you drill them on the inside of the cabinet. It's one of those mistakes that anyone can make and in fact I almost just made that and it would really kind of screw up the project and I'd have to start from zero. So just double check yourself. I'll use a squeeze clamp to hold the side in place while I attach it with a screw.
To start building the cabinet, I'll add a cleat to the bottom and I'll get my measurement by holding the cleat at the top and making a mark. I'm attaching the cleat with wood glue and inch and a quarter nails and a nail gun. And I'm using a little spacer to make sure I'm absolutely flush with the face frame. Now I'll square off of that cleat and draw a line. And again, I'll attach the cleat with wood glue, inch and quarter nails, and a nail gun. And I'll make sure to keep the cleat at that square line. I've already cut the back to size, so now I can just drop it in and nail it in place. I'll use a clamp to help pull the sides in. For the top brace of the cabinet, I'm using a piece of 3 quarter inch plywood by 3 inches. I'll measure over 5 eighths of an inch, and then down an inch and a quarter, 2 and a quarter, and I'll pre-drill and countersink at those marks. That doesn't look right. I meant to say 3 quarters and 2 and a quarter. This squeeze clamp will help hold the brace in place while I get a chance to screw it to the cabinet. Yesterday, I got most of the lower cabinets put together. I still have to build the doors, drill for adjustable shelves, and make the backs, but I wanted to start to put the cabinet together to figure out what to do next. The top is basically made up of three parts. You have a left side, the center, which is just a piece of three-quarter inch birch plywood, and then the right side. Nothing has been put together yet, so now I'm going to take the top, the left side off, and start to screw all the parts together, and then I'll do the same thing to the right. These are the drawer dividers and I'm attaching them to the bottom of the top with glue and pocket hole screws. I've done the map so the opening for the drawers is exactly 14 and a half inches and I've cut a jig at 14 and a half inches. I'll use this jig as a spacer and work my way down.
Well, it turns out that my math is a little bit off and this opening is going to be about a 16th, a heavy 16th wider than the rest of them, but that's okay. I'm gonna make sure that I just keep this end flush and I also wanna make sure that I turn the pocket holes towards the inside. Now I'll drop the bottom onto the dividers. And I did mark on this side, the front and the left side. That's one of those things that can get a little confusing. So it's good to just mark things out. And I'll attach the ends nice and flush. And then I'll use a framing square to square off the dividers in the center. Now I'm going to start making the doors for the cabinet and since I'm making the doors out of 3 quarter inch birch plywood, it's just a matter of cutting the plywood to size. I just finished hanging the doors on that cabinet and now I'm going to start working on this cabinet. The first step is to take one of the doors and turn it upside down on the work table. Then I'll use a two inch piece of scrap wood and trace a reference line at the bottom of the door and the top of the door. And then I'll hold the hinge at that line. This is a very common hinge. You should be able to find this at any hardware or home store. I've got a sixteenth of an inch drill bit in the drill and I'm going to drill in the center of the hole. And I'm only drilling down about an eighth of an inch, just enough to get the screw started. With the hinges attached to the door, next I'll mark a center line on the cabinet at the top and the bottom. Now I'll place a spacer on the floor and rest the door on that spacer and bring the door over to the center line, keeping it just a little bit shy of the line. And then I'll clamp the door to the cabinet and make sure the door's in the right position.
Well, that's as far as I'm going to get this week. Next week, I will be making and fitting the drawers. I'll finish the cabinet, drill holes for the adjustable shelves, and add the shelves in back. And I should be able to get that all finished by next week. And as soon as that video is finished, I will have a link on the screen and it will also be in a playlist. I want to thank Gornica Plywood for sponsoring this project. If you watched my show, you know I have very strong feelings about plywood. And this plywood has been an absolute pleasure to work with. And if you want to know more about how the plywood is made, click on the link right here and that will take you to a, it's like a five minute video. I found it very interesting on how the plywood is produced. I also want to thank everybody. As you may know, I just hit 200,000 subscribers and that's kind of a big deal for me. Anybody who makes videos has milestones and 200,000 subscribers was a milestone for me. So thanks so much for watching the videos, commenting, sharing, and uh, I really do appreciate it. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.